Hello everyone, welcome to Klein92 TV and this is my Madden 25 Rams Connected Franchise and before we get into the gameplay I'm just showing you kind of like a channel update. Right now I'm on NBA 2K13, I'm showing you blacktop mode and the reason why I'm showing you this is because something happened with my game so right now I cannot access any of the all-star players that I bought using VC. You can see right here I'm flipping through showing you guys that I don't have any of those players anymore and because of that I'm forced to cancel the search for the best series. I haven't been producing the videos for a while, so it was kind of going to an end anyway. Also, I'm also canceling my Clyde Place The Sims 3 series, mainly because it wasn't really that good of a series at the very beginning. So, I know what you guys are thinking. The only series I have going on right now is this Rams Connected franchise. And my answer is exactly, I'm doing that on purpose because I found out that when doing more than one series that I can't really fulfill doing multiple ones at the same time, if that makes any sense. So this will be the only series that will be going on, on this channel from about now until March. And by then, I'll probably get the new NBA game, which is NBA 2K14, and I'll probably be doing some kind of franchise or GM mode in there too. So this game, we are playing the Tennessee Titans at home, a repeat of the 1999 Super Bowl. I believe after they had the Music City Miracle they got there. So you can see Tavon Austin at the very beginning of the game getting it all the way to the 45 yard line. Jaquiz Rogers still is not back so he will be back I believe in the next episode. Leon Washington is still rushing in this game. He gets about a 10 yard gain right there. Here Mark Sanchez is back. He's running out to the right side. Throws it downfield to Tavon Austin to the 9 yard line. Nice play by Tavon Austin. He's bringing back kicks. He's really shown to be a star player on this team up to this point. There's Michael Floyd getting a touchdown in the back corner of the end zone. And this was just a historic game for this Rams team. And you'll see why our offense has one of the best performances of their entire season. You can see Jeff Fisher right there cheering on his guys after they score. We are up 7-0. They have the ball on the 20-yard line after the kickoff. Jake Locker gives the ball to Chris Johnson for a 11-yard pickup. I don't know why Jake Locker is the starter in this game considering that Ryan Fitzpatrick, I think, won the starting spot in real life. There they are on third and seven. They don't get any yardage there. We will get the ball at the 19-yard line after the punt. Here we are doing a draw play to Leon Washington. He cuts over to the left side, goes downfield, and gets just inches away from the first down. He already has 41 rushing yards in the first quarter. Here we are, we're doing a corner strike play. Sanchez is throwing it to the left side to Brandon Lloyd. He gets it to the 48-yard line, and we have a chance here to go up by two scores in only the first quarter. Here Sanchez is back. He pump fakes and gets sacked right there at the 49-yard line. It will be second and 18. We're just going to try to run the ball with Washington and get back at field goal range. He gets out in the open, though. He's at the 25, the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5, and he gets pushed out of bounds at the 2-yard line. He has 88 rushing yards in the first quarter. That's just crazy numbers for a running back. We run it with him on the 1-yard line. Get in. Sanchez is happy. We are up 14-0 in the first quarter, but Jake Locker and this Tennessee offense will not give up. They're giving the ball to Chris Johnson, a centerpiece of this Tennessee offense. Without him, they wouldn't be as good as they are right here. Here they are. They're doing a pitch to Johnson. He's running out to the right side. He gets the first down and is tackled at the 40-yard line. The first quarter will expire there. Here we are in the second quarter, giving it to Johnson again. He is hit down in the backfield. They lose four yards. They know they're going to have to do some passing plays now. Not a very strong passing offense. Sacked right there, Jake Locker again. They got fourth and 17. They could not kick a field goal. They punted it to us. We have the ball here. Sanchez is going to the right side. Passes it to Cook, our tight end, on the far left. He gets over one defender and gets hit down at the 31-yard line. A 43-yard gain right there. Here we are. We're about to do a play action to Washington. Sanchez rolls out to the right side, and he sees someone in the back end zone. He gets it to Michael Floyd, our third touchdown already. Sanchez already has two passing touchdowns, and Leon Washington has one rushing. Floyd is celebrating in the end zone after that play. They know that we're taking a, a pretty good lead at this point, and that we're just making it harder and harder on this Tennessee team. Here, Locker is back on third and seven. He's trying to throw it downfield. I thought that was a pass interference play. I'm near positive that I bumped the guy a little bit to the left, but they do not call it. We get the ball. We're trying to give it to Brandon Lloyd there. It is intercepted by the Tennessee defender. 
he gets past one guy and is tackled at the 46 yard line. Now Tennessee will get the ball with the chance to score and narrow down this lead. Here Jake Locker is, he's going back. He gets sacked again right there. So this Rams defense is just playing great up to this point. I think they already have like three sacks in like the first two quarters. Here they are giving it to Nate Washington on third and seven. He does not get the first down, so they will try to kick a field goal on fourth and one. Just narrow down this lead. Tavon Austin is back, and I try to hit away the ball and block the field goal. He misses, though, so it will be 3-21. to 21. We get the ball right now at the 28-yard line. Sanchez is rolling out to the left side. Finds Tavon Austin again right there. He's got two receptions for 30 yards in this game. We're passing it a lot at the end of the second quarter because I think they get the ball at the beginning of the second half. We get it to Michael Floyd right there. He gets hit out of bounds at the 29-yard line. So with about three minutes left, Sanchez is scrambling around. He throws it, but for some reason, it's ruled a fumble. Luckily for us, Jake Long was there to pick up the ball. So it will be second and 23 at the 41-yard line. Odds are we won't be able to get the first down here. But Sanchez finds Michael Floyd, who barely gets that first down. Floyd has almost 100 receiving yards in the first half. Here Sanchez is rolling out to the right. He finds Leon Washington. I do a celebratory spin into the end zone. That is Sanchez's, I think, third touchdown in this game. Washington celebrates in the end zone. So now the score is 28-3. to This Tennessee team is trying to get back in the game. They will give it to Chris Johnson, who runs outside. He gets in a weird stiff arm animation with one of our defenders. That will bring the two-minute warning on. I just hate that stiff arm animation because it goes for about five yards, and you never see that in the actual NFL. Here, Locker is giving the ball to Nate Washington to the 48-yard line. So they have a chance of scoring right before the half ends. Locker is going to the right side. He finds Sean Green on the right side, the former New York Jet. He gets to the 35-yard line. Here, we are completely blitzing at Jake Locker. He gets the ball away to his receiver, Raynard, to the 11-yard line. They are now in the red zone. They have a chance of scoring here. Locker goes to the left side, finds his tight end Walker in the back of the end zone. So now they are only down by 18. Walker will throw the ball between the field goal posts. Here we are with the ball with only 31 seconds left. We are doing another corner strike play because I found that that one seems to work the best out of all plays in the game. The defender falls over when Austin catches the ball. He's at the 10, the five, the touchdown. He's showing the crowd his hand after that score. Sanchez is happy. We just eliminate the touchdown they scored after that long drive in just one play. So we will go into the second half up by 25. A great performance by this Rams offense already. Here Jake Locker is back on third and two. Finding Walker out in the open. He's going down the sideline. Cortland Finnegan is catching up to him. He could get the touchdown. Finnegan dives and stops him at the four yard line with 10 minutes. Here they are with the ball on first and goal. They're doing a run with Chris Johnson. They give it to him on the right side. He gets right through the hole into the end zone. A very fast drive for them, scoring right off the bat. Johnson's happy after that play, doing a pretty weird celebration dance right there. We are up by 18 now at this point. Sanchez is back in the shotgun. We're doing a pass play. He's rolling out to the right side, finding Isaiah Pede. He doesn't get much playing time for this team since we have two better running backs, but he does get the ball there. He gets a good pickup. Here we are on second and eight, doing a play action, finding Chris Gibbons on the right side. Another player that doesn't seem to get much playing time on this team. Here we are, we're switching our play up to a power O run to the left side. We give it to Washington. He cuts by one defender, gets within the 10 yard line. So here we are on first and goal. Sanchez snaps the ball. He's pump faking. He decides to take it himself. So he's running, doesn't get quite into the end zone, but he gets about a six yard run right there. You can see that we've been in the red zone three times and got a touchdown all three of those times. There's Washington running into the end, so that is his second rushing touchdown of the game. Celebrating there again, so we already have 42 points in just three quarters, so if we play like this, we could set a record. Speaking of records, Sanchez already has four passing touchdowns in this game at this point. Six touchdowns would put him at second place, and seven touchdowns would give him the record for, more, for most touchdowns in a game. By this point, it's pretty obvious that the game is basically over. We're going to win this game. But Sanchez wants that record at this point. We want to get him, I think, yeah, we want to get him three touchdowns in one quarter, if it's possible, that is. Get him the record. That'd be just great for this Rams team, a real confidence booster. So here we are. We're continuing to pass in the fourth quarter. Here we are doing a corner strike. Sanchez is rolling up. He finds Brandon Lloyd at the 25-yard line. 
Brendan Lloyd is about 50 yards in this game. Here we are. We're deciding to run the ball a little bit with Leon Washington. He runs out to the right. The defender, for some reason, runs away from him. Leon Washington gets into the end zone. That is his third touchdown of the game. So he's got three touchdowns, and Sanchez has four. So the Titans have the ball right now with about 10 minutes left in the game. Jake Locker snaps the ball. He's back. He's lobbing it to the left side. It is caught by Kenny Britt at the 47-yard line. Kenny Britt has about 40 yards receiving on the day. Here it is on third and 10. Locker is back. He's got so much time in the pocket. They're doing the same play to Kenny Britt, except this time he does not get his speed in bounds. We will get the ball. Sanchez will have his opportunity to get his fifth touchdown of the game. There is Brandon Lloyd laying out for that pass. Here we are on third and six. We are doing a play action with Zach Stacy. I think he's like our third or fourth string running back. We have a lot of running backs on this team. We are almost picked off on that play. They do not get anything going on their drive. So with five minutes, Sanchez will need three touchdowns to tie the record and two touchdowns will put him at second place. You can see Leon Washington right there running to the left side. He has about 170 rushing yards on the day. So great day for him. Here he is running to the right side. He almost gets the first down. He is tackled at the very last second. Here we're trying to do a fake punt with our running back Kendricks. He does not get the first down on fourth and two. So they will get the ball at the 40 yard line with about three minutes left. Here Locker is, he's snapping, they're just trying to pass the ball, get some touchdowns, get back in the game. He throws it to Kendall Wright, who gets it at the 18-yard line. So after the two-minute warning, they have the ball on third and sixth. Locker snaps the ball, he's back. He's going end zone to Nate Washington, touchdown Titans. A phenomenal catch by Washington, but at this point, it's basically meaningless, considering that they've already lost the game. So we will get the ball right now with... One minute and 30 seconds left on the clock. Sanchez does a play action here. He's going downfield to Tavon Austin at the 43-yard line, I believe. So we get the ball right there. Here we are eight seconds later. We're doing another corner strike play because it seems to be working so well. We're giving it back to Devon Austin, who gets hit out of bounds at the 23-yard line. Sanchez is still pushing for that fifth touchdown. Here we are giving it to... Leon Washington, again, he gets it to the 12-yard line. So with one minute left, we're forced to do play actions because I have it on game flow. Here Sanchez is rolling out to the right. Finds Michael Floyd. That is Sanchez's fifth touchdown of the game. He's going to go for six. It's probably impossible for him to get the record, but he can still get second place on the record. So they do not get anything going on their drive. They will punt it to us. We have Tavon Austin back ready to receive it. He receives it, cuts to the right side, cuts back over to the left. That seems to work in all the Madden games where if you go one way and just cut back the other, you always seem to get good yardage. We get it at the 22-yard line, so Sanchez has about 20 seconds right now to get one touchdown and get second place on the most touchdowns of all time in one game. Here he is. He throws it to the 6-yard line to his tight end with 16 seconds left. It's first and goal. A touchdown here ties the record. He's going end zone. Interception. Ah. Uh -huh. Tough play for Sanchez, that close to getting second place on a record. We still win the game at least, and that's what's really important in this kind of scenario. So I think our record now will be, it's either 7-2 and two or 8-2, and two. I'm not completely sure. So Leon Washington is your player of the game with three touchdowns and a long of 47 yards. You guys can remember that you can check out my other videos. I'll put a link to the description of the last part of this series. Here is your GMC never say never moment of the game. Sanchez going to Devon Austin right at the end of the first half. He goes all the way down the field and gets a touchdown. That was a real momentum builder for this team, which really led to the win. You can see him going down there showing his hand off to the crowd. You can see the final game stats. We did better in scoring, passing yards, and time of possession. So I hope you guys had fun watching this video. Be sure to check out my other videos and be sure to have a great day.